What's going on everybody? Welcome in for another episode of How to Play On. On this episode, we are using a rental team provided us provided to us, I should say, by Master Phoenix, who is an amazing member of our community over on twitch.tv backslash brawlic John. Uh, so this team is really, really cool because it kind of highlights Zarude, uh, who is a mythical Pokemon that I feel like is a little bit underutilized and kind of like um, underrespected in this format. Uh, so what we were able to do is we were playing some games live over on Twitch and they went so well that I decided to just put a couple of games together for you guys to really demonstrate this team and why this team works well with Zarud in the fold. Um, the main premise of this team is we have two modes that we really like to go into. We have Dynamax Necrozma as well as Dynamax Zekrom. How we get into those modes depends on our opponent's team and what we think works for us. Uh, with Necrozma, we really like to be able to pair him with Ryolu. Um, we have access to Trick Room Copycat, which is a tale as old as time. But on top of that, we also have access to Protect. So when your opponent leads Fake Out to stop the Copycat Trick Room, you just Protect turn 1. Um, you go ahead, you can Max Quake and or Max Strike, depending on what your opponent has out there. That way your Necrozma starts boosting up its own stats. And then turn 2 is when you can really go for the Copycat. If you find yourself in a mirror match or against another team that might be slow, just go for coaching. Coaching's right there, Bulldoze is right there to activate weakness policy. To be honest, the Bulldoze is pretty niche. You really, really want to be coaching, copycat, or protect. Those are amazing moves. Conversely, this same Ryolu pairs really well with Zekrom. Um, Ryolu has coaching, which also boosts Zekrom as well. And you'd be surprised, if your opponent has Trick Room, you can use Copycat to just reverse their Trick Room. So you could lead something like Zekrom Ryolu against Trick Room, let them set up, Copycat their Trick Room, and now Zekrom is free to do whatever he wants to do. Now what we chose to support those main modes is we have Assault Vest Kyogre, tried and true, very good Pokemon, very good coverage, obviously a little bulky, um, really really good, not much to explain there. And DDD is also a great option. You can lead in DDD when your opponent is threatening something that is um, really uh, advantageous against the Ryolu Necrozma core. You can just go ahead and lead in DDD and be fine. And then the man of the hour is Zarud, who has a specific niche that he feel that he fills, but it's a very important niche. All right, so Zarud is here to basically punish Lunanos, to punish set up Pokemon, and to really really put pressure onto Kyogre and Groudon. Um, with Power Whip, he's able to hit both for super effective damage. He outspeeds both of them. And under Trick Room, he actually underspeeds Zacian. And he can hit Zacian with Stopping Tantrum in Trick Room. So there's a lot of great ways to use Zarud on this team. I'm really excited for you guys to see these games. Um, if you want to be a part of the live experience, go ahead and follow me over on twitch.tv backslash brawlikjohn. That's where we do all our recordings. We hang out with the community. Um, but for now, enjoy these games, drop a like, drop a subscribe, drop a comment below of what Series 13 Pokemon you want me to highlight next. And I'm going to try my best because I had some fun with this team and hopefully we'll have fun with the next one as well. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you guys. Enjoy. He also has Necrozma. Oh, this is that weird Necrozma. I've seen this team a couple of times lately. I wonder why people are running this team so much. Alright, um, I think we go with our Necrozma and Ryolu here. I think it's actually just fine. It's so good into most of their team. Um, Zekrom in the back? How do you look, buddy? Zekrom looks pretty good in the back, actually. Actually, Dynamax Zekrom just kind of looks nasty here, right? Should we be maxing Zekrom? Uh, but then he kind of loses to their Necrozma's Max Quake. Okay, we'll just bring Zekrom in the back. Um, and then the question is Zarude or Kyogre here? Or in DDD. Kyogre's cool, but they do have access to Wide Guard. Um, they have access to a lot of Wide Guard. Zarude is, like, pretty solid here. He hits Kyogre, he hits Lunala. I kind of like Zarude here, actually. And he's dark. Yeah, we're Zarude Gaming. We are Zarude Gaming. Let's go. Now you having fun? I was always having fun. I was just... I wanted to troll, and the game wouldn't let me troll. And that's why I was mad. It wasn't even really the losing. It's the fact that I almost won twice and got crit twice. 
Like, the game should have, like, a, like a power scanner where it can scan your power level. And if your team has a power level of below 8,000, no crits. Like, if you have a Ludicolo on your team, your team should automatically not get crit. <laughs> like, there should be, like, power levels to this shit, dude. Alright, um, I actually think I just max Quake, um, the Zamazenta, and coaching here. Right? We just coaching. Yeah, that seems fine. Because there's no reason for Trick Room, really. And I don't want to activate his policy before he activates mine. If he activates my policy first, then sure. Alright, guys. Who's ready for the double Necrozma mirror match? Zamazenta versus Raiolu. Who's the god gamer? what happens let's see what happens all right Raiolu with the big coaching I just got Mew let's go rebel howl Ooh. okay 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 both of their attacks rise but I got the defense baboost all right he's going for steel spike into Raiolu okay sure Pretty scary, pretty scary. Um, should I double up with my Zarud? I think I'm gonna bring in Zarud and protect. I'm gonna hit into their Zygarde here. Their Necrozma, I think. Try to put him in range of Zarud afterwards. It's plus one defense, though. But he might activate my policy, maybe. Ah, uh, maybe not. I don't know. I'm gonna take the risk that he's gonna hit into mine. I'm gonna protect. Uh, the, the Howl and the Max Steel Spike was an inspired choice. Alright, he's scary faces into Zarud. Steel Spikes into Zarud. Okay. What's the items for Mew? Oh, and um, in Unite, I'm actually not sure, Rebel. I play CDR, but I don't know if CDR is the way. I'm going to be honest. Um, that crit kind of mattered. That really does help me out. I'm not going to lie to you guys. Because now Zarud has a chance to kill here? Yeah, Darkest Lariat into this might just kill, honestly. Oh, do I die to Behemoth Bash? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, Zarud lives. Oh, thank God. Yes, Zarud. Yes. He's so rude. Let's go. Big Zarude, baby! Oh my! Let's go! Big Zarude! 
We could still lose, but Big Zarude! Ooh, they got a Lunala? And Kyogre! Okay, we are kind of in a good spot here, I would argue. I gotta hit a power whip though. Alright, Power Whip it's a Kyogre. Come on, baby. Uh, maybe I just Larry at the Lunala, because we do have Zekrom in the back. Nah, we Power Whip the Kyogre, I think. Because I don't want to get hit by a Strong Water Spout. Alright, Protect on Kyogre. Damn, doubling Lunala would have been sick there. He missed! He missed Hypnosis! The curse is broken! The countdown truly begins! Oh my god, my opponents finally missed the Hypnosis! That's what you get, dude. Oh my lord, finally, dude. Alright, Photon Geyser into Kyogre. And Darkest Lariat into Lunala. Blunder policy? I know. What a troll, dude. Oh, wait a minute. Lunala's faster than Zarud? Oh, the blunder policy. Oh, I should have set up Trick Room. Oh, no, 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 no. I threw. I forgot blunder policy just gives him the speed boost. Oh, I actually lost this game. Oh, no, dude. I'm actually such a troll. Oh, my God. Photon Geyser. What the hell? All right, never mind, I guess. I could still lose, though, but what the hell? Photon Geyser. Holy shite. Photon Geyser absolutely obliterated that dude. What am I even at? I guess I'm at plus... I'm not even at plus anything. Okay. Um, do we set up Trick Room here? Could be a big payoff if I get it. Is he just gonna kill Necrozma, though? He could go for Meteor Beam. Ah, oh, but he's not Power Herb. I think I fucked up. I fucked up again. He's just gonna kill Lunala. Oh, he went for Hypnosis. Dude, really? In a 2v1, you're going for Hypnosis? You're just an actual troll, dude. You're just an actual troll. What a troll, dude. What do you want to do here? They don't have anything technically that can stop the... Oh, they have Fake Out on Incineroar, I guess. But I wouldn't have plays around. Actually, is Ndd Nah, Ndd's not good here because of P-Blades. Heat Wave is a possibility. Wide Guard, stuff like that. Um, is Zarud good here? Zarud kind of is good here, right? What do you have? You're pretty fast. Prevent status conditions in sunlight. Power Whip, Lariat, Tantrum. Would we ever max Zarud here? Probably not. The problem is, is he loses to Zacian. He legit gets one shot. 
Do I want Zekrom here? I think it's just Kyogre Zarud, actually. Because they're probably going to bring the Gastro Don, right? So we could bring the Zarud for the Gastro. Yeah, I guess Zarud is just the play here. He also probably outspeeds Lunala. The only thing is he's real bad at Cessation. Like, real, real bad. I'm pretty sure he gets one shot. I'll let Rinya go, but I don't want regular Sun to go. I mean, we're going to have regular Sun with Torkoal and Scarlet Violet. It's going to be lit. Zekrom has a very useful Roselli Berry. Yeah, I'm not liking all these weakness berries. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I am not going to lie to you guys. Alright, so they obviously have Fake Out Pressure to stop Trick Room here. The thing is, is Charizard can't one-shot Necrozma anyway. So I kind of mo okay to just go Protect on Ryolu and Max Quake into the Incineroar here. Seems fine to me. He has no switch-ins for Quake. He's gonna max the Charizard, which is a good play. God, I wonder how much Wildfire does through Protect. Probably a lot. <laughs> what if he just kills Ryolu through Protect? He might swap to Groudon. He can't. He has to fake out Ryolu or else I get Trick Room. And he's top 1000, so he knows. He knows. But he has to fake out the Ryolu or else he gives me Trick Room. He's probably, my only concern, all jokes aside, is if he kills Ryolu through Protect with Wildfire. That's like actually kind of possible. Like I'm really thinking about it, I'm like, hmm, it's kind of scary. Yeah, there's Protect, this should be Fake Out. If this isn't Fake Out, I'll be flabbergasted. Yeah, it has to be, he knows, he knows, he knows. Wormwind. Into the Ryolu. Oh, lovely. Okay. That does put us at minus one attack, though. So, like, well played for having Wormwind. I would never predict Wormwind on a Charizard, by the way. That's just kind of wild. Alright, so we get the big Baboost. Alright, now we can go for Copycat and Max Guard. If it's just the Max Mon, agreed, that is wild, bro. <laughs> Alright, there's Drought. Alright, Trick Room is now up. Does Ryolu live the turn? Nah, that's Airstream into Ryolu. Okay. Alright, the good news is... He has instant Groudon Charizard. Does he bring the Gastrodon as his last Pokemon? And if he does, somebody's still taking hella damage here. Um, so if I want to be VIP, I just got to beat the Elite Four on your Discord. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We got you, baby. That's all you got to do. Um, so the Elite Four, don't get me wrong. They have good teams, but they have themed teams. So, like, it's not, like, impossible. Like, it's kind of just fine. All right, so we Water Spout, and we predict the Gastrodon switching. Um, so what we're gonna do, do I want to Mindstorm the Gastrodon here? I am at minus one attack. Um, do I Mindstorm or do I Steel Spike Quake it? Um, I guess I Quake actually. Because it could just be Incineroar again, I guess. For some reason. 
I'll just Quake, and it gets the special defense boost onto the Kyogre as well, which is nice. Alright, here's Gastrodon. Charizard still dies, though. Oh, it's not Gastrodon. Oh, okay. Oh, they're in a bad spot. They are in not a fit. Oh, wow. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> you could go for it, Spider. You would be a legend. And then you get your team in the Hall of Fame chamber for the rest of human time. I think Water Spout just kills both, TBH. Yeah. I got the Straw Hats to beat the Elite Four. You bring it in the One Piece, homies? The Oranguru. Um, but yeah, the E4 members are mad cool. Some of them are in chat right now. Moxie is an E4 member. Um, Jarrett is an E4 member. Uh, we got some cool peeps. Alright, so they do get Sun Up, which is like what they wanted, right? Now the question is, how many turns of Trick Room do I have left? I think only two. All right, I, oh, I have three turns of Trick Room. So what we're going to do is switch out Kyogre to Zarude. We're basically going to sack the Zarude here. And we're going to Earthquake. Because if I bring back Kyogre, I win with Water Spout in my last two turns of Trick Room. So we are going to Earthquake here. Switch in the Zarude. Need to switch the Krasma out? No, no, Kyogre is the important one because I have to win the Weather War. And I have to win with Water Spout here. Zarude's just gonna get sacked. Poor guy. Alright, Earthquake is just doing chip damage into Zacian. That's what we need for Water Spout to kill. Here's P Blades. Alright, there's my policy. Alright, play rough into Zarude. Alright, here we go. Now Kyogre comes back. I mean, Zarude unironically did what he had to do. He had to live in Earthquake. I know that seems silly, but that's his job, to live Earthquake there. Alright, so two turns left of Trick Room. So we are going to go for a Water Spout. And I have a feeling they protect the Zacian here. So the question is, what's stronger, Sunsteel Strike or Geyser? Probably Geyser here. Brock Lesnar theme? Let's effing go, dude. Alright, there's Protect on Zacian, so now this double up should just kill Groudon. Alright, Geyser into Groudon at plus two special attack. Nice. Water Spout. Alright, that should win the game for me. The only way he can win now is double protect, and I know I'm jinxing it, but it's just the only way, really. Alright, they gave up. They should have went for double protect, though. Alright, GG's. Challenge. Alright, All right, so my opponent is running that Lightning Rod Raichu with Fake Out. He's got Incineroar with Fake Out. He's got Kyogre, Zacian, Yavatal. Alright, so I think this is probably... See, now here's the thing. If I set up Trick Room, I unironically lose to their Amoongus. How can I stop Amoongus? Zekrom. Zekrom is my play here. But they have Raichu. How do I stop the Raichu? I mean, I can lead in DDD Zekrom. Or should I just lead Ryolu Zekrom? Just set up some coachings. <sighs> 
I kind of want to lead Necrozma, Ryolu. Um, Zekrom in the back, definitely. I don't think I'm going for Trick Room, though. I don't think I'm going to go for Trick Room. Do I want Zarude here? I think I kind of want Zarude as a switch in for Spore and stuff. Maybe I do set up Trick Room. Gosh, I don't know. That's tough. Let's see what they lead, and we'll take it from there. Series 13 for the lead 4. Yes, sir. Zarude. Yo, we got a win with Zarude. We did. Zarude. Zarud. To drive over in her new it Bring some friends you cool with. Uh, it said it as a meme, but Zarude really good against 4 Raichu and has upside versus Ogre. I agree. I 100% agree. Alrighty. Um, I'm just gonna Photon Geyser the Amoongus. Right? Because I don't want to set up Trick Room in front of this thing. I really don't. Um... And then I can protect the Ryolu. Hmm. Because then I could bring in Zekrom next turn and Dynamax the Zekrom. Oh, Yveltal's going for Tailwind. Oh my god, that Amoongus is going to outspeed and spore me. Oh my god. I was so scared. What the hell? Oh my god. My heart just went into my butt cheeks. Oh my god, chat. I thought the Amoongus was going to be faster. Oh. Whew. Whew. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Is it on Switch or Strictly Showdown? Oh, it's Showdown because not everybody has Switch. Also, Lewis in the chat. Lewis? Lewis! Alright, so now we set up Trick Room. So now we Max Guard and Copycat. Free Trick Room. Yo, let's go, chat. Let's actually just go? Trick Room Gaming? Like, what's up with y'all? Uh, chat, I think these games are gonna make it to the YouTube! I think these are YouTube games right now. And nah, Chico, you're good, bro. You can ask all the questions you want. Alright, now the only thing that is scary is that I max on the Krozma in front of a Yveltal. That's pretty scary. The only thing I will say that kind of works for me is now I can bring in my Kyogre and Rain. And just really hit their Yveltal hard. Alright, Trick Room is up. Water Spout's gonna destroy Ryolu here, actually. Oh my gosh. Alright, Ryolu's dead. Now Max Move goes into Max Guard here. Okay. This could still go either way. Oh, I brought Zekrom, not Kyogre. That's still fine. That's still fine. I was kind of hoping for um for Kyogre here actually. I guess Zekrom is fine. Um I guess I can max quake the Kyogre. And then Bolt Strike the Yveltal. I think that's fine. Kyogre Protects. That's why I went for this play, because I get the plus one special defense, and I get chip damage to hurt the effectiveness of Water Spout here. And then I still get a big Bolt Strike into the Yveltal.
which is what I'm looking for here. Oh, massive damage. I could have just killed Yveltal, actually. Alright, max darkness into Zekrom. I should live. Ooh, I would have died if it wasn't for the Quake. But then again, I would have killed Yveltal if I just doubled up, right? Alright, alright. I think this could be a win. This is close, obviously. Um, we're gonna have to... Steel Spike into the Yveltal. And Bolt Strike into the Kyogre. Alright, that should be the win. Okay, Yveltal's done. Alright, now Zekrom's gotta hit a Bolt Strike. I always get the crits that don't matter. Oh my god! Wow! Come on, man. Any truers in chat? And if you are a truer on YouTube, bro, why do I always get crits that don't matter? Comment, like, and subscribe below if you can tell me why I get crits that don't matter. My lord, dude. Alright, um, it is a 3v1 versus Zacian. Um, I've seen Zacian win these before. <laughs> so I'm actually scared. <laughs> Zacian could win this. Alright, there are two turns of Trick Room left. Alright, let's just Sunsteel Strike into the Zacian. I could Earthquake Protect, I guess. But we'll Bolt Strike, try to get some chip damage down. He's probably gonna protect. Okay, no protect. Alright, here's the big Sunsteel Strike. Alright, that crit doesn't really matter though. Alright, nice. Alright guys, three wins in a row with Trick Room Necrozma and Trick Room Zekrom. This is going to the YouTubes. Thank you guys for watching these games. These games are poggers. Let's go, baby. Alrighty, guys. Once again, as you saw, those games were pretty amazing. I just want to thank you guys one more time for hanging out with me watching that video. Um, I know some of the audio was ripped directly from Twitch. Just has to be that way, you know what I mean? Uh, but we're gamers. The team is full of gamers. I hope you guys enjoy the team. I hope you guys try the team. I hope you guys get some dubs of Zarud. Like I said, drop a like, subscribe, follow, comment. Uh, follow me on TikTok. Send me money on Chase Quick Pay, uh, PayPal, Venmo, whatever you got. You know what I mean? Show that support. And have a good one, guys.